Um, so that's the Panopto recorder for Windows. The one for Mac is a little bit different, um, but it, it has pretty much all of the same stuff. Um, it's gonna be very, very similar to the Windows one. However, Panopto Capture, um, I'm not gonna cover in a ton of depth. In order to record from either of these, we can start in, um, we can start in my Canvas course hit the blue create button. If you have the recorder for Windows installed, you can click here and that will um, that will pull up the recorder for Windows that we just demonstrated. But if you don't have it, you can use Panopto Capture to record in your browser. And that is going to pull up this thing here. And so this one, hello, um, is a lot more simplified. So we can see if we start at the top, you're going to select your mic or your webcam for your microphone. You're going to select your video source or turn off your webcam video. You're going to select your screens and apps. So this is where you decide what, what on your screen you actually want to record. Um, you can change your recording settings with the little uh, settings cog down here on the right and then hit record in the middle and then it will take you through um, you can either download your recording, you can upload it straight to your Panopto website, uh, your Canvas course, wherever. I'm not going to spend a bunch of time on this because this, this really is pretty easy to learn, um, but I am attaching a video if, you, if you're interested in using the capture recorder. Um, maybe if you're, if you're borrowing someone else's computer or something and you don't, have, you don't have the full version installed or you're waiting for IT to get back to you to, to install the full version, um, the, Panopto, the capture recorder is pretty easy to use. Student recordings. This is something I haven't covered a lot in the past, but it's something that keeps coming up occasionally, one or two, maybe every semester. Um, faculty tend to assume that because they can record with Panopto, that means their students must be able to as well. And the answer used to be not really, but you could you could turn that on. Um, so first and foremost, if if students want to, Panopto has recently released a free version of Panopto Capture, which is, again, this version where you, you record in the browser without having to download. Um, the free version is called Panopto Express, and students are welcome, or you are welcome, to go to the Express web, the Panopto Express website, and you can um, use that for free. And then you can download your video as a WebM file, or you can upload it directly to YouTube. Um, however, if you want to let them use the, Panop the Panopto recorder that you use, which is, you know, maybe the Windows or the Mac recorder, um, you first have to give them access to it. And you do that by creating an assignment folder in your Canvas class folder. Um, again, I'm not going to cover how to do that in depth because it is a very specific use case. I just want you to know that it's an option. And if you turn that on, then you can actually have students submit video to the assignment folder in Panopto, and then um, you can decide if other students are able to see it there. So it's basically gives them gives them the opportunity to download and use the Panopto recorder for uh, a video assignment in class. That said, um, students may also do recordings with you know their phone or other things. So it's it's sort excuse me, it's sort of up to you if, if that's something that you're interested in, in having your students do. And if you have any questions, you can always, you can always reach out and let us know. 